Hi guys, WineTuber here and today I'm going to talk about the best white wine of 2022 according to the Canter Wine Magazine, which is Tolpodel Chardonnay 2021. Is this wine really worth it 99 points? Let's find out! Before we start, here are a couple of interesting facts about Tolpodel Winery. The Tall Polar Vineyards was purchased in 2011 by Martin Shaw and Michael Hill Smith, Master of Wine, who also own another successful winery called Shaw and Smith, based in Adelaide Hills in Southern Australia. The Tall Potter Vineyard was named after the Tall Potter Martyrs who were transported to Australia in 1834 to forming an agriculture union. The vineyards are located in one of the best parts of Tasmania, which is called River Valley, when you can get long-term insurance against the climate change, meaning that Tasmania is definitely one of the best places to grow Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grape varieties. This is why Tall Potter Winery plants only two grape varieties, Pinot Noir and of course Chardonnay, who can really benefit from cool but dry climate of Eastern Tasmania. All grapes are hand harvested, then whole branch pressed and fermented in oak. Then wine is aged in French oak for nine months and then for two months in stainless steel tanks on their own lease before it's released. Wine on the nose is pronounced showing aromas of lemon, grapefruit, red apples, green apples, toastiness, smokiness, vanilla, marzipan and also lemon cream, a lot of things going on. On the palate is dry, super creamy, you can get a lot of citrus, toastiness, finish it's really, really long. However, I wouldn't score this wine 99 points. In my opinion, this is 96 points wine. It's absolutely amazing and a fantastic value for money. Unfortunately, vintage 2021, it's completely sold out, but we still have some bottles of 2020 if you like to discover the style of Tall Poddle House. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Tasmanian wines, click this link. By the way, don't miss out my next video about five most useless wine gadgets in 2023. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.